Good morning, everybody. This is Justin Lowry with Lowry's PC Services. And um, I've been approved as a Viasat 2 beta tester. So I kind of just wanted to go over the difference in uh, hardware from the Viasat 1 to the Viasat 2 setup. So um, this is the Viasat 1 Petria. And when you have it installed, you, know, you have your reflector here in this, you know, what points back. Um, this is the new TRIA. This is the Viasat 2 TRIA. As you can tell, there's a pretty big difference in size. I wish I knew more about what the difference in size was, but unfortunately I do not. Not yet, anyway. So that's that. And this is our current Wi-Fi modem. It's a regular, you know, flat Wi-Fi modem. And when I was in the dealer's meeting in Macon, <clears throat> they said, you know, these things get, get pretty warm. And they were saying that, uh, you know, people lay them flat, then they'll set mail and books and things on top, and the air doesn't circulate as they're supposed to. So engineers, I have an answer for that. And this is the modem we're going to be using with Viasat 2. As you can see, you can't put a book on top of it. You can probably lean up against it, though. People find a way around these things. But that's that. So I'm actually pretty, I think it looks really cool. And there's your standard ports. That's where we plug our coaxial cable into. If you get their voice over IP service, there's a phone jack. You have two um, Ethernet ports, a couple of USB ports, and a power power cable. Whereas with this one, you have that's what we plug into. That's the power. You have four Ethernet jacks, one phone jack, and one USB port. Hmm. Got a WPS Connect button. Those things are convenient. If y'all don't use a WPS, I use it here at the shop because I hate typing in my Wi-Fi password because it's a long bunch of gibberish that AT&T gave me. What if this one has a uh, wireless protected setup? Hmm. I don't see it right offhand. It's inconvenient if they don't. There's a reset button. Well. I'm going to have to ask about that because I'm tell you, it is convenient just to hit that button and your phone or your laptop or tablet or whatever, just connect to the Wi-Fi. But that is the difference in, in hardware. <clears throat> and these are the plans we have now. We still have our regular plans. Um, you know, we have three with the soft data cap. One is unlimited. So with these three here, you have the standard 12 megabits per second. And I'll, I'll put this in the uh, a picture of this in the description. You have the, the uh, standard 12 megabit per second speed. Um, the unlimited is the 25 megabits per second. These two plus the unlimited has the Wi-Fi uh, modem, the one that I showed. This one has the built-in wireless. The 12 um, is just the standard modem, <clears throat> so you have to have your own wireless router for that one. These three do include the free zone um, from three to six. It doesn't count against your data. And if you're over, you're back up to the top speeds in that time. So if you're up that late and want to stream, you can do that. Pricing, uh, you've got 12 gigabytes, 25 gigabytes, and 50 gigabytes. The, uh, we have introductory uh, pricing. 12 gigabytes starts at $30 a month for the first three months. And then it goes up to $50 a month. The 25 gigabyte service starts at $50 a month and then goes up to $75 a month. Um, the 50 gigabyte plan starts at $75 and then it'll go up to $100 a month after three months. And the unlimited, that one starts at $100 a month for the first three months and then it goes up to $150. After that, all three, I mean, all four come with um, free installation, so it saves you $100 up front. 
and um, you know, with equipment and taxes, just tack on like an extra ten dollars a month or so. Um, I don't think we're offering the Boost Twenty Five right now for these three plans. I think that they're, they're kind of did, um, halted that for the time being. Um, no, and what that was uh, the Boost Twenty Five for ten dollars extra a month. These three plans it'll double from twelve to twenty five. But they've they've sort of put a hold on that. Holds up so you can see it a little better. I said I'm gonna add a picture of this in the comments. So it'll be a little easier for you. Um, that's our phone number, 478-374-0404. Um, give us a call or just shoot us a message here on Facebook, the comments. Um, if you have any questions, we are looking for installs. We're always looking for installs. Um, as far as the Viasat 2 plans, those are coming out sometime in February, so we're probably about a month off. They're going to roll them out in stages from February 1 to February 20th. So sometime in there we'll have those plans available. I can't say when. I can't say what they're going to be. I can't say pricing because they won't tell me. Not that I know and I can't say. I literally cannot say because I literally do not know. Uh, I'm hoping it's real soon. Um, you know, it's January 16th, so at least two or three weeks away, we should be able to um, announce that. But any questions, um, you know, don't hesitate to give us a call in 478-374-0404 or shoot us a message here on Facebook. You know, I'll be more than happy to talk to you.